it's a cool escape and uh, it's a blast. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a big passion of mine. James is a very, um, very introverted guy. He has a lot going on in his life um, that he doesn't really deal with externally. Um, he keeps a lot of it inside. And I, I feel like I relate to that as a person. Author Richard Hall came out in the 1940s and was closeted during much of his early life. But he and his family had other secrets as well. Uh, to travel e even back further in time, our family history is loaded with ghosts of its own. European Jews, Richard's great grandparents, had emigrated to Texas before the Civil War. In the 1930s, hoping to protect the next generation from rising tide of global anti-Semitism, our mother changed the family name, name from Hirschfeld to Hall, moved to a different neighborhood, and joined the Episcopal Church. Richard, uh, Richard, who was a very sensitive young child at the time, remembers having to cut the fly leaves with his, quote, old name, Hirschfeld, out of all his books. He also remembers being told to share his old identity with no one, not even his best friends. So at eight years old, Richard became a ghost to himself. The antique store in Country People may derive from the antiques his mother collected, New England treasures she bought so that the neighbors wouldn't know that they were Jews. When years later he learned the extent of his family's heritage, he refused to keep it a secret. His first book, Letter from a Great Uncle, traces the story of his actual great uncle, who was driven out of Texas because he was gay, and moved to Manhattan. Richard remembers meeting his uncle as a young boy and feeling an instant connection. Years later, he went back to Texas to do research. Richard felt it was up to him to make sure his uncle's story wasn't lost. In a similar way, he tried to preserve the pre-Stonewall gay stories and wrote about them in Country People. I was born when Richard was in college. He visited occasionally. I adored him. I adored him. He was handsome. He was tall. He was erudite and always, always loving to me. He let me sit on his lap and comb his hair. He swung me around, put me on his shoulders. He gave me shelter during my turbulent teens. And after I came out, he continued to mentor, advise, and console, and support me through assorted life crises and sordid ones as well. Richard offered counsel and connections to a legion of aspiring writers. He did the same for me. He helped me find a niche and a voice for my writing. Um, and so, and so, Richard, most cherished and profound ghost, you once asked me how the essence of a life well lived could evaporate without a trace. Let me answer with a, a parallel question to you. How can a spectral presence, that would be you, Richard, occupy so much space in a flesh and blood, bricks and mortar mortal? That would be me. There are certain people in his life that draw things out of him. Um, that I think was really interesting about the script as well. I mean, I think in everyday life, um, there's people who are put in your life to uh, help you move forward, whether they're doing it consciously or they just show up. Country People is an allegory about the trials and treasures of loves of all kinds. Uh, so Richard, shall we propose a toast? A toast to the ghosts who formed us, who walk among and through us, and who we will soon become.